What up, data nerds? In this series of the tutorial, we'll be going through what is the difference between dimensions and measures. When I first started Tableau, this was uh, an open the desktop application. I was really confused by why the data was separated by dimensions and measures. And so I'm hoping this video will help show you what is the difference and, and why Tableau separates it. So for this video, we're gonna be going through, one, we're gonna just start by, with the background of what is a dimension, what is a measure, and sort of explain it further. Um, why do we have that blue color, that green color? And then from there, we're gonna actually move into the Tableau application and start actually working with some data so that way you can actually understand, a uh, better understanding of what the difference is between those two things. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with understanding what is the difference between dimensions and measures. Whenever you import data into Tableau, it will automatically assign it dimensions or measure based on what is in the field. And I haven't really had any problems with the Tableau assigning it to a field that it shouldn't be in. So let's start with dimensions. Dimensions are categorical fields. So anything that you can do into a category, such as a country, um, an ID, a date, and in this uh, Tableau Superstore data set, we have categories and subcategories. So that is a dimension. Then we move into measures. These are typically quantitative fields, and typically you'll see a, a number uh, such as profit, quantity, or latitude, and those type of things are within the measure thing. Now within those of dimensions and measures, we need to focus on that dimensions are typically this blue color, and blue means that it is discrete. It's countable, there's nothing in between. I like to think of like a, a digital gauge where it actually outputs a single value number. So things like a country or an ID, things that are countable with, uh, that are actually represented as these countable things with nothing in between, these are typically discrete. Then for measures, measures are typically continuous. So when you think of something like profit or sales, um, a quantity or a latitude or longitude, these are continuous in nature. So they'll be green. There's uh, something in between it and they're, they're infinite in nature. So I include an asterisk here to call out that dimensions can be continuous and also measures can be discrete, but this is normally an exception and not the normal case. So whenever you import your data into the Tableau as shown on the right hand side, typically gonna see all blue underneath dimensions and all green underneath measures. So now let's go in and look at the Tableau Superstore data set and actually compare of what columns by looking at the values should be dimensions and what should be measures. So here's the data set. Let's take a look at dimensions first. And as you can see, remember that dimensions are categorical in nature. So you can see that we have city, category, product name, things like that. Things that may not be as intuitive are things like the row ID, where it has a number, but yet it's a category. And just think of this as row ID is a, a unique value assigned to it. So it is, a, it is a number, but it's a unique value. So therefore it's a category. Then for measures, we have things like that are typically numerical. So quantity, discount, profit, uh, shipping costs, things like that nature that are infinite in nature. Um, and these things would be category, uh, categorized as measures. So now let's go into Tableau Desktop and actually play around with some dimensions and measures to get a better understanding of why Tableau separates these two values. Similar to what you've seen in the previous slides, the, the data categories are separated um, between dimensions and measures. And they have this line in between there. You can see the dimensions are blue in nature and the measures are green in nature as we previously discussed. Um, there is no, this is in Tableau 2020, they don't have labels anymore for dimensions and measures. I think they're trying to get away from that. But, but nonetheless, uh, just a reminder, we connected the orders uh, data set, which was its own sheet in uh, Google Sheets, and then also the returns and the sales reps. So each of these have their own dimensions and measures for each of those sheets that we are connected to. One item to note is there are actually Tableau generated fields that appear in here. 
that are available to be used. So we can see for the returns, you can actually, they created a count of the number of returns. And so this is available in a measure, same as the sales reps, it's also available in measures. Other things that are available are they pre-generated a latitude and longitude based on the uh, city that was available. And then also they did a measured value. So this includes all of the measures here in one convenient field. So let's start with this one actually. It's uh, pretty unique. Whenever I, what I did there is I just double clicked it and this is great for exploratory data analysis. We can go in and we can actually look at all of the different uh, measures that we have and then we can see how they are being displayed. So let's, uh, I wanna turn show on Mark Libels to see some of the values there. But see it gives us, hey, how many counts of orders do we have? What are the number of returns we have? Number of sales reps. Uh, discount, profit, quantity, sales, and shipping costs. So this is a great for exploratory data analysis to sort of show a lot of the things that we're, we're looking at. Some things that I like to change is it, it does these pre-generated fields of count and sum, but maybe that may not be necessary, or maybe you want something else. Say instead we want to look at for the discount, we want to look at instead of sum, I think a better attribute to look at this would be average. So I would just uh, right click it, select measure, and then from there select average. Okay, but now I'm noticing that the average discount is a zero value and it's actually a percent, but it, it's rounding it off. So I want to see this better. So I'm going to actually format this number. Click format. This format pane opens up on the left hand side uh, that has some different options that we can select. But for this, we're going to come up here and select fields. And we obviously we're talking about the average discount. From there, I'm gonna change the number format to a custom norm number, and I want two decimal places. Okay, so now we have a little overview of the measures, and this is really goes in to show what you can do with measures. The key thing being is that you can aggregate it in different types of ways by going to um, selecting uh, the uh, right clicking and then selecting the measure and then changing what do you want to look at? Do you want to look at minimum, maximum count, median, sum, whatever it may be. These are specific to measures and that's what you want to keep in mind whenever you're assigning something or Tableau assigns something a measure that you can do these quantitative analysis with it. Okay, so now let's look at dimensions. Remember, dimensions are categorical in nature. So let's stick with something easy to start with. Let's stick with uh, uh, category. So we're gonna take this and we'll throw this into the rows shelf right here. And we can see, okay, there's three different categories, furniture, office supplies, and technology. We can take this even further and we could throw the subcategories into the rows shelf as well. And now we can see, hey, what are the different subcategories uh, within the categories themselves. And so this is really good at actually breaking down the different uh, dimensions. But now let's say we wanted to throw a measure into here. So we could then also take sales um, and then from there throw it into the uh, uh, text column. And so now you can see a sum of the different sales for each of those subcategories broken out by the category itself. Um, so that's that's how it's different. One last example that we can do and show that I think is really interesting is say we wanted to look at, remember country was a dimension as well. So we can take that and throw that onto the row shelf right here. And over to the ref, uh, right I have the show me card right here. And as you can see I can select uh, the different visuals for the maps. I'm going to select this one right here. And remember we talked about the countries generating their own latitude and longitude within Tableau. And so that's what it's using in here to actually designate all the different countries in the data set. So countries that are not in the data set are grayed out. But anyway, we can do something similar here and also throw uh, sales into, um, into, and into, we'll throw it into the colors card so we can color it by sales. And so now we can look at and see, oh, from a visual representation, the different categories of countries, we have a indication of 
okay, the United States has the highest amount of sales because it's the darkest color. Uh, things like Russia has less sales, so it's all lighter in color. But I feel like this is a great example that shows, hey, this blue, this, this, uh, this categorical attribute that's a dimension being combined with a measure, uh, those that are typically green in color, being combined together to provide these data insights for your dashboards. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial on the differences between dimensions and measures. I hope you have a better understanding of the difference between the two and how they can be used in your different dashboards that you're going to be developing. As a reminder, this video is part of a series where we go from bringing data from a Google Sheets document into Tableau, all the way finally into an automatically updated dashboard in Tableau Public, where we look at different employees on the Tableau Superstore dataset and their performance. So if that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. Also, comment down below some things that you uh, didn't know about Tableau that you'd like to know more about. Um, it really helped me shape the way this channel is going and this tutorial series is going. So thanks for your time and hope to see you again.